So we got our rockfish right here, all seasoned up, and then we've got our white perch. There it is, people. Moving. Doesn't that look the bomb? Wow. Check this out, guys. We are switching things up. What's going on guys? We are here downtown Norfolk and we're gonna be getting on some striper today. We're gonna do some just fun fishing, just go to some different spots. And we're actually gonna do a bunch of bridge fishing, so check it hey, out. Hey, who's driving so, this who's driving this boat? It's on autopilot. <laughs> autopilot. The dolphin guys, we are gonna be fishing. This is just such a cool fishery. I love it. It's all this industry. We are downtown urban fishing. We've got waterside district. We're gonna be fishing bridges, pilings, these big old massive ships. There's destroyers. Well, we can't get too close to them because we'll probably get blowed up. <laughs> yes, it is really cool though. We get to fish. I mean, y'all know we love beach fishing. We do tons of inshore stuff. So this for us is such a treat, getting to like fish, urban fishing, these big buildings, all this industry. So here we go, you guys. We're gonna cruise on out to the spot. Stay tuned and we'll see you there in a minute. Oh, trolling motor works. Won't be a good day. All right, y'all, here we go. Dolphin Dancer boat fishing mission and gauge. We're gonna be using Pinfish Procure. Check this color out. Root beer chartreuse in the paddle tail, not the shrimp. We got some darker, like more stained water in here. So hopefully this darker color is gonna do some work today. All right, people, first fish of the day. Pulling it off this structure could be a little schooly striper. Is it the first striper of the year? And it is. Target species. Not the size we're looking for, but definitely the species. And where there's one of these dudes, we were getting whacked like every cast. We got these rocks right here. These are the rockfish. So, hey, we just figured let's try some rocks and a bunch of structure. And we started marking some bait on the electronics. And here it is. Yeah, what? there we go. You yeah, little schoolie. This is so fun, catching these. Little, uh, little rock fish, you guys. Woo wait, my first one of the year. Okay, he's not a giant, but he'll do. Woo! All right, guys. I don't care how big striper I'm catching. These guys or are- Or how small. <laughs> okay, or how small. <laughs> how schooly. These guys are really fun. Um, fishing 20, actually. Let's make them look really big. Fishing 30 to 40 foot He's depth. He's a big. There, there you go. go. Just like that. The whole, make Jeez. them look really big. Wow, this water is chilly. It's funny because usually when they're ready to go, they'll clamp down on your finger and then they'll kick off. Okay. There, <laughs> there he goes. Y'all, that fish just pooped on my rod. So I'm cleaning it off with our boat cleaner. There we go. Good as new. Smoked it! Dang it! When I was reeling it up, right under the boat. There he is again. Got him! Oh my gosh! All right, y'all. These fish—they're not huge, but he's a boat flipper. <laughs> Booyah! Here we go, guys. Nice That's the bigger one right striper, there. Striper ones that we're looking for. These guys are so fun. These schoolies and we located a nice school of them back here. Um, this one was actually kind of all loner. I couldn't pick any others off, but I was retrieving it, reeling it all the way up. And right before I got to the surface, he like smoked it and took off. So super fun and definitely was not expecting him to hit right at the surface, but really, really cool fight. All right, you guys, we just are cruising out from the first spot. It held quite a bit of schoolie striper right up on the structure. So we definitely were able to pull a bunch off. 
And y'all, we've got beautiful waterside just straight right behind us. But it's a really cool spot down here if you guys have never been to downtown Norfolk. It's That's a right. cool spot. Next spot. Next spot. Yeah, if it was like 400 years ago, then I'm just saying, we would be like, this is like critical time. We need yes. you to catch dinner. So critical. Right if All we right. don't catch dinner, we're not eating. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, All right, here we good go. thing there's Next still Chick fil A. Running right to the boat. Good one. Yes. Running really fast. Shut up. What is this? That's a perch. What? Keep him. A perch? Yeah, keep him. That is awesome. All right, you guys. Check out this perch I just caught. Kind of a cool catch. We were fishing for striper, but I'll take a perch. We're going to actually keep him and cook him up tonight. A little catch and cook action. We have not yet done a perch, so this will be our first, our first one. There's one. Fish all. Is this another one? Huh? Yeah, another fish. And this is another perch, he's going home too. And it doesn't feel big. It feels like it very well could be. Yep. Our live well works. All right, here you go. One more uh, for the refrigerator. There's one. That feels better. That's like a trout. That feels like a trout. Yeah? Feels like it. Yeah, see how it's swirling like that? That's, that's a striper, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Second target species fish of the day. Nice striper. Well, schooly striper. But we'll take it. No, he's, he's the biggest one of the day. He's a keeper. Boom. There it is, people. This is dinner right there. That's a solid 20 to 21 inch striper. And this guy is perfect. For the grill we've been grinding it out here we caught some perch so we're gonna cook those and i'm actually gonna have plenty of food in my belly with a multi catching cook. yeah well multi-species but there it is just working these bridges and finally finally pulled one out so there it is this guy's going on the Pretty grill work going on the grill all right let's get this catch and cook sorry y'all because daggone i am insanely hungry look at this here it is, people. This is tonight's meal. It's going to be whole cooked rockfish striped bass and whole cooked white perch. All right, so the first thing that I did is rinsed off the fish. And the next thing that we're gonna be doing is just take a fork right here and we're just gonna go kind of against the grain. Wow, hopefully Christy doesn't see all these scales throughout the kitchen because I am throwing scales everywhere. So. All you're doing is rinsing the fish off, and then you're gonna take a fork right here. Go from the tail to the head and just make really quick motions, just like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna get all the scales off. And to keep your wife happy, you wanna do this uh, in the sink or in, you know, just a, kind of like a closed space because you're gonna just throw a bunch of scales everywhere. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the fins. You guys wanna be really careful when you're doing this that you don't cut yourself, but that's the first step is you just wanna remove the fins. So we're gonna take off the pectoral fins and then we're also gonna remove the gills. So to remove the gills, all you're gonna do, I like to use a paper towel. And so as you can see, like, you can just kind of grab a hold of the gill right here. So you just grab a hold of it and then you're just gonna pull it out. I like to use a paper towel. Might take a little bit of a little bit of finagling. The dorsal fin. Alright, so there it is. Really easy. So removed all the fins, 
Uh, I can keep these on because there's not really a lot of meat attached to them. I'll probably end up taking them off though, but that's it. So we just cleaned out the inside and now that fish is ready to be uh, diced up and ready to be seasoned. So we're just gonna do the same thing uh, with these little white perch right here. All right, so our fish descaled, rinsed off, everything removed the fins, really easy. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna, um, we're gonna open the filet up on each side. And all you're gonna do is just cut down the spine. That's it. So just like that right there. Just open it up on either side and then I'm just gonna score it. And scoring it means I'm just cutting into the meat like that. So just score it about every inch or so. This will just allow it to cook easier. And then it's also gonna allow for the seasonings to set in there nicely. Okay, so now for the striper. Start at the head or the tail. I'm gonna start at the head. And just open this filet up. Just kind of ride the spine. Oh my gosh, this is gonna taste so good. Do the same thing on the belly. So check that out. So that's all we're gonna do is just look at that filet right there. And then we got this one, both sides. This right here, people, this is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna season these fish up. The extra virgin olive oil. Just do like a healthy splash on each side. Do that with both, do that with the white perch. Okay, black pepper. You can't have enough garlic in my opinion. All right, next thing, garlic pepper. Throw some oregano on there. Some basil style points. Let's do a little cayenne pepper, a little spice. Last but not least, a little bit of salt. Then I got my lemon slices right here. Just put these right inside. All right, so here it is. One last look at these fish before they go in. So we got our rockfish right here, all seasoned up, and then we've got our white perch right here. Got our lot, uh, lemons, not our limes, got our lemons. Let's go ahead, ain't nothing more to do but throw these bad boys in the oven. Cause daggone, I am starving. All right, so first thing, let's put this, Rockfish right here on top, and the white perch. I'm gonna go in. Oh man, I don't know if I can wait this long, but it's probably gonna have to take about 10 to 15 minutes for these fish to cook, um, because we are cooking the whole fish. So I'll check y'all in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, y'all. So it's been about 15 minutes, and I think this fish is done. Here we go. That looks amazing. Doesn't that look the bomb? Wow. Yeah. Work. And the white perch. Look at that. Boom. Oh, I think that perch looks good. Look at that fish Little I caught. Fish nuggets. Nice. These guys go just like that. Are we having uh, some guests over? This could be probably a family of 10. Yeah, this is just for me. You're going to eat all of this in one night? All tonight. No, tonight I'm going to eat like a king. <laughs> I was on the water all day today, and you best believe I'm gonna be eating all this. Going in for a taste test. You guys, this, this is, this is what it's all about. All right, so white perch, dang, just as good. Do yourself a favor, cook yourself some whole fish. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that catch and cook, and hopefully y'all gonna be giving this recipe a try. So that's all I got for today, y'all. Peace out.